I'm gonna show you guys how to dispense liquid inside the jar without spilling. Put your brush right up to the edge. Gently pour inside the dampen dish. This will prevent it from sliding down the side of your bottle. Now the key when doing reverse application is getting the right size pearl. What I wanna be able to do is keep the finger pointed down towards the towel. This will allow the pearl to drop down in a teardrop formation. I'm going to make sure that we load up my brush. I'm going to get a nice, healthy pearl. If there's too much monomer, I'm going to lightly tap it off. I'm going to set it right to the cuticle area. I'm going to use the tip of my brush to press it nice and flush around the edges. Make sure we finish off one side. I'm going to let it run down towards the tip. And at this point, I'm going to use the wedge of my brush to lightly tuck back my smile line. I want you guys to notice something. Take a look from this side to this side. Notice the smile line is going to be even thickness from corner to corner. Remember, if it's too thin on one side, this can actually create shadowing at your edges. We don't want that. Okay, now we're ready for the white application. We're going to take our nail form I'm going to apply this to the bottom. I'm going to pre-pinch this. Now there is a trick when you're actually working on these hands. Make sure that you're going to slide the form all the way back so that you have a really secure application. You will notice from the sides that the form is going to be dead straight. It doesn't hang. It's actually touching the free edge. All right, we are ready now for our ribbon application. Once we get the form on, we're going to take our imagination art brush, we're going to dip it inside the liquid, we're going to pick up a large pearl of powder, we're going to set it down, and remember, while it's wet, I'm actually going to drag it close to the smile line and down the edge. Now, we have a limited amount of time before we can actually press it into the ribbon. You don't want to start too early or it's going to actually stick to your brush. What we're going to do, I'm actually going to push along the edge here. We're going to push along the edge here. And then I'm going to push along the edge here. Notice how I'm actually creating a really cool ribbon. We're going to do the same thing down towards the tip. Notice while the pearl is wet, I'm actually just going to drag it along the edge and down below. Remember, you have to move the acrylic while it's wet from the surface. Once we've done that, we're allowing the product to set Notice I'm actually bending the acrylic here. I'm going to come in, shape the acrylic out from its edge, and then around this point, bending the ribbon into shape. All right, once we've created that ribbon style, I want to make sure that we actually conceal this side as well. I'm going to come in, get another pearl, set it down, make sure that we run the tip of the brush along the smile.
notice how I'm actually, as much as I want, as much as I want to come away from the side, I'm trying to keep within the free edge parameters. All right, as you guys can see, I've actually created some nice ribbons on the free edge. We're going to allow this to set and we're gonna go straight into our speed clear overlay. Once we're done laying out all our ribbons with our speed white, we're gonna overlay it with speed clear. I'm gonna come in with my monomer. I'm gonna get a nice fat pearl. I'm going to make sure that we overlay the white with a wet pearl. This will prevent any bubbles from getting into the clear product. sure that we use the body of the brush to pat it evenly from side to side. Once we are done, we're going to file this into perfection. <laughs> 